Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Macquarie, and Poshmark. And today I have a haul for you. Um, not a fun boxing. I ended up going to the bins over the weekend with my daughter and a few of her friends. And I told my husband I was not getting very much. That I was just taking the girls. And that I only planned on getting stuff if it was really good. Well, I ended up getting more than normally ever. And I think, I think this is the most I've ever gotten going to the bin. So, I didn't necessarily, technically, I didn't lie. I wasn't planning on it. But there was just a lot of really, really, really good bread and butter items. Nothing home run. Nothing like major, like designer, high end. Just really good, faster selling bread and butter brands. So I ended up getting, I think, 130 pounds of clothes. Sorry, it's like 6.30 in the morning or 7 in the morning and I'm still waking up. I'm wanting to get these videos out to you guys in the evening. It seems like everything just piles up and I can never get it done. So I'm going to, I think there were six bags total. And I know that most of you don't like like super long videos, so I'm going to try to do one bag per day, or one bag per week. Do the video, list it, do the next video, and we'll do that till we're through it. And either at the end I'll tell you how many pieces it was and how much my cost of goods were, or I'll kind of keep like a tally through the series and we'll go through it that way. So without further ado, since I don't have a ton of time. Let's just get into it. We have, oh, and then this here, since my daughter is sleeping, this is the best piece that she found when she was there. It's hers. She's keeping it. But it's a Madewell sweater. So that was nice. Now this is nothing that I've really ever heard of before, but I looked it up, and it looks decent. It's a really quality piece. It's a nice zip-up vest, very thick um, and warm. The brand is, what is that, Entro? Yeah, Entro, it's a size medium. Just a really nice, thick, thick vest. That's actually a really nice piece. Like I said, I know what I got somewhat. Um, this was a few days ago. So this is, it's not new to me, but I don't know what's in this bag. So this is a Walter Hagen. So the 11 majors, size large, like a quarter zip. I think that might be a golf brand. If you guys know, let me know. But a golf brand, just a nice men's jacket. This is something I did not look up, but it was awesome. So I just grabbed it. And the brand is Lamessini? Let's see if you, but it's a kid's western shirt, it's got a lot of the rhinestones on it, um, it's got some embroidering on the cuff, and in the back it's got some more detail with rhinestones, and I mean, from what I could tell, all the rhinestones are there. Oh, and then it has other weird detail, where it's got double buttons, each spot where there's supposed to be a button, there's two, and there's two holes for each button, so... I just thought it was kind of cool. This I got because I just like selling scrub tops. And this was a breast cancer awareness. It's not a good, not you're not a great brand, just scrub star. But at the bins for a dollar, I couldn't pass it up. And it looks like it's butterflies with the uh, pink ribbon. This is, I believe it was an N. Like a baseball? Yeah, I don't know. I have tried looking this up and I couldn't see. So it's a combination of Fifth and Ocean and then New Era and then also General Merchandise and then it also has like the baseball symbol there in the middle. So I know it's baseball. And it is San Francisco Giants, and it's just this really nice hoodie, and it has the, the SP, or the SF on the front, on the side there, 
So yeah, that was nice. Now, I watch other YouTubers, obviously. And I didn't look this up either. I figured if it's good, it's good. If it's not, anyway, nothing. But I was watching El Ducho um, the other day. And she went to the bins and she picked up something like this. And she said, some of these are good. Some are not. I just threw them in because I found one. But it is a kid's Oshkosh Bigosh. Like, um, yeah, my brain doesn't work in the morning. These. These right there. So it does not have, oh, actually, yeah, it does have the snaps down the inside of the leg. So, yeah, those are nice. This I got strictly on style. I cannot read this. If any of you guys have seen this before, I know what it is. Let me know. But I cannot read that. You guys probably can't read that either, especially not here. At first when I saw this, I thought it was free people. But that definitely does not say free people. But it's a size 8. It's a woman's sweatshirt sweater type thing. But it's like this in the front. You have the crochet there at the bottom. But then the whole entire back is open with this really nice crochet. So, yeah, I have no idea what brand it is yet. I'm going to try to do some Google Lens and some other things and try to figure it out. But I cannot read that cursive on there. But it's really nice. So I got it. Here's a pen and a pair of men's Nike Dry Fit, size extra large. I mean, we all want to know what Nike Dry Fit looks like. Extra large pants. They do have zip pockets on the side. All in really good condition. And then here is a pair. Is there another pair? What was it? Oh yeah, that's right. The tag was ripped out, but of course it has the logo. So it's a pair of men's Under Armour. A pair of pants is a good, it's a bigger size. It's also got zip pockets, and they've also got zippers at the ankle, so those are good. Like I said, just everyday bread and butter type items. This is a Nike Pro Combat woman's size medium fitted just shirt. And this one, I believe it was new with tags, yep. Let's see, and this is, is it Under Armour? Yeah, it's the Under Armour Woman's Heat Gear shirt. The retail on this, I believe, was 30 something. Yep, $30. So, had to get that. These surprised me. I did look these up. I don't look everything up, but I looked some up. And this is called Aviator Nation. It's a size small, but it's a woman's pair of just jogger pants with these stripes on the side. And I looked this up, and there's been several pair of this exact pair of pants that have sold for over $70. Or between like $60 and $70. So I had to get those. This I got because I found the pair. I don't normally, like I said, I don't really, you know, do a lot of kids' clothes. I will get a few pieces here and there. But this, if you guys, if you, any of you guys shop at the bins, you know how hard it is to be able to find a matching set. So I found the shirt first and I left it because I wasn't picking it up. But it's Grizzlies, Montana Grizzlies, little kid's shirt. Um, it's from Rivalry Threads, but everything that I've ever gotten with that brand on it, or that team, I have sold. And then later, I found the shorts that go with it, and I went back and found the shirt and got the set. And this is a pair of Levi's. They are Levi's 501 men's jeans. They are... I think they're men's jeans. Let's see what size. Levi's Premium. Let's see. Can I see a size? Sometimes their size is hard to find. It's a 3230. So, but it's 501 button fly. 
and they're just in like super excellent condition. So those are really good. A couple more pieces it looks like. If you guys ever see this brand, it's actually a really good brand to buy. I've sold almost everything I've ever gotten in this brand also. It's Volcom. There is their symbol, if you ever see it. And it's just a pair of Corpo Class shorts. Let's see, does it have a size? Yep, size 32. Just like a nice black pinstripe pair of shorts. And then the last item is this duster. And I don't know if it's very good or not, but it was in excellent condition, no stains, nice bright yellow with stripes. And the brand is Tickled Teal. And it's a size medium. But it's just this nice long sleeve, really long duster, open cardi open front cardigan. And yeah, so I got it. It was really nice. So that's everything that was in that bag. Nice, simple, fast, easy video to show you guys what I got. I will get this stuff listed hopefully before the end of the weekend. Or the end of the week, I'm hoping. And then do another video either over the weekend or first thing on Monday next week. If you guys like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. My goal was 200 subscribers before the end of the year. And I'm only two away. So I would really appreciate it if you guys could help me get over that goal. I would love it. And um, if I get it this early, I'll make another goal and try to get even more by the end of the year. But 200 was my goal. So, talk to you guys later. Have a great week. Hopefully you guys make a lot of great sales. And I will talk to you guys later.